This video is a bit of a spontaneous one, but this whole week I've been stressing out about this fight at UFC 305, the main event. Israel Adesanya versus DDP, Dracus Duplessy. And the reason why I'm stressing out is because I'm clearly an Adesanya fan. But you have to recognize one thing. Dracus Duplessy is a special specimen. What do I mean by a special specimen? It's complicated even to myself to explain it, but let's just say that there is something about him that I don't see in anyone that Adesanya has ever fought. Something dangerous, but not in the way of an Alex Pereira that can be dangerous at any moment, which Dirkus Duplessis is dangerous at any moment, or not something very blatant and in your face like Strickland, but it's something sneaky about Duplessis. Something that you can't expect. You don't know what to expect with this guy. He's middleweight champion right now and that's for a reason. Every fight he's had previous to the championship fight, previous to I would say the Robert Whitaker fight, it just felt fluky from what people say. But his style might be to make it look fluky. That might be his style. And before we understand what's going on with Duplessis, People are still going to think that it's luck and whatnot. But at some point, people are going to understand and study that style because he called it himself a style. But I don't only want to talk about his fighting style. I also want to talk about his spirit, the mental. You see, one thing I noticed about Duplessis, he always finds a way to understand the situation and completely change the game plan. He can adjust on the fly. He does what he has to do. And to anyone facing him, at some point, you might think that you got his number, you got him on the ropes, you got him tired, you got his spirit drained. But really and truly, he's just getting started. He might look exhausted, but really and truly, it's not really exhaustion. I don't know why it is. And it's most dangerous at those times. At the times when you think you got him, that's when he's the most dangerous. You know... There's MMA, there's boxing, there is wrestling, there is jiu-jitsu, but then there's fighting. Just just fighting, just like going berserk. He can, he can turn the fight into that any moment, any moment, any moment. This guy is just going to go bite down on the, on the mouth guard and just <laughs> spam the overhands. DDP scares me for Israel Adesanya because I've never seen this guy get emotional outside of the ring. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like, I feel, I feel like when you insult him, he enjoys it. You can keep on insulting me because when I bring the belt back to South Africa, I'm going to have the last laugh. It's like there's something, something sneaky, something, I don't know. Something that, I don't know, man. I want easy to win, and I'm and I'm not gonna lie. I'm a DDP fan because he's he's just special, but easy has to be careful, man. I don't know. I, I don't have a good feeling about this, but at the same time, Israel Adesanya, right now, I think that we're gonna experience contender easy, and if contender easy turns up to the fight, oh boy, it's gonna be a dog fight, cause contender easy had nothing to lose, contender easy. The best um, picture you can have of that is uh, the fight with Kevin Gaston. That's the best um, representation of Contender Easy. He's prepared to die for that. And if he really means what it means, that he's coming for heads, not for the belt, we're going to have a good fight. Not some Yoel Romero type of fight, but a proper, proper fight. Combat, gladiator, all of that. But yeah, you guys, what, what do you guys think about DDP? Like, actually, he's likable... I like him, but Easy is like I have an I have an emotional attachment to Easy because it's because of him that I started watching MMA, that I started um being invested into the UFC and everything. You know what I mean? And I know that the sun has to set on every champion's reign, and I don't know if the sun is setting right now for Easy. Could be it, you know. But regardless, it will always be the goat in my eyes. But I know Easy, Easy can, Easy can do this, man. So yeah, guys, it's your favorite YouTuber, Tenam School. If you like this video, 
you can click here or here or just go on my profile subscribe and there's much more videos like this and also check the link in the description to help support the people of palestine they don't want me to talk about it please do show support and um, yes until next time قالوا إنها وعد نحن عصبة الأسد فأتاهم زحفنا زائلون للأبد ثم